In this short video, I'll give an overview of what you will learn in this course subject. I'll present the structure or content organization of instrumentation physics, how each topic becomes a foundation for the succeeding topics, and what are the topics that we will skip due to time constraints. The design of this course subject prepares the student to effectively develop active instruments, improve existing instruments, or simply modify a pre-existing instrument so that other modules can be attached to it. Usually, the product's application is based on a project's specifications. This course subject begins by exploring the fundamentals of instrumentation and then learning the physics behind instruments like a good example would be scientific instruments, then examining the components of an instrument and reviewing the progress made so that the instrument's accuracy and precision are improved and also, from a practical point of view, to make the instruments become more cost-effective. We will begin with the general concept of instrumentation, and we adopt a definition that is not just applicable to physics and engineering, but to other disciplines as well. We also give a rundown on the practical functions of instruments in different areas. It can be in manufacturing, massive production systems, electrical power plants, health science, etc. Under this chapter, we also seek to answer the question, what are the general characteristics of an instrument? And here, we learn that the answer depends on the basic function of an instrument and so on. Also, we explore the three most common ways to classify an instrument. Finally, we discuss some standards and how we handle or present some errors that are understandable by scientists and engineers. Usually, by clearly presenting errors in an instrument, new innovation or research is born to develop a new technology or improve an existing technology. Active instruments are usually sensor-based. In later videos, we define what an active instrument is. When an engineer or physicist or a developer creates or improves an instrument, it must consider the instrument's overall electrical properties and also the electrical properties of its components. Also, by learning how to process DC and AC signals, we can decide, in the context of complex circuit, when it is best to use a certain electronic component. The importance of knowing how modern devices measures or monitors DC and AC signals is twofold. The first one is that by studying the basic physics behind such devices, the student can now design or improve the design of such devices for a specific application. Second, there's a huge chance that you will be using any of these devices in your job. These include DC meter, AC meter, potentiometer or bridges, or oscilloscope. And when you are aware how these operate, you can confidently operate these tools with great care and efficiency. Also, when something's wrong with the data obtained using these tools, you can easily troubleshoot the system and somewhat decide whether there's something wrong with the circuit or there's something wrong with the measuring device. Transducers increase the efficiency, accuracy, or precision of an instrument by relying on the consistent response of sensors with any physical or chemical change. On the other hand, actuators provide flexibility and automation that a machine or instrument may require to improve its application. If time permits, we will also discuss modern data collection and transmission techniques. We will then explore how to improve instrument's performance by examining its various static and dynamic characteristics and the existing practices on how to improve or upgrade them. Finally, let's have a survey of the latest applications and some uncommon utilization of various active instruments. Note that the discussion here will not be in-depth and exhaustive. Rather, we will review some modern applications that include environmental applications, biosensors, chemical sensors, etc. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching.